Hey, I'm going to show you how to find Pokemon stops and gyms on the map, and if they're not on the map for your area, how to submit them so you can use it and other people in your area can find them easier. Um, it's basically it's an extension for an ingress map reader that is going to allow you to put markers on portals. Now, portals are just locations in the game of ingress. A lot of them are the same as the portals in, or the gyms and Pokestops on Pokemon Go. So um, it, this, this add-on will basically allow you to mark them as either a gym or a um, Pokestop so you can kind of plan your routes and see where stuff is and um, it's going to make it easier for everyone in your area. Um, it's all user submitted data so it's not always going to be 100% but any user has the capability of removing bad links. Um, and the more that people contribute to this, the more it's going to be useful for the players in your area, including yourself. So um, this is based on Ingress. So the first thing you have to do is register for Ingress, which it's, um, it's an app. It's free. You download it for your phone, um, Android or Apple. And you sign up the same way you signed up for Pokemon Go with a Google account. And once your, um, once your account's created, you're going to be able to go to... Um, ingress.com slash intel and it's going to give you a map of the area and this is ingress um, there's fields there's portals you can click on these things get information about them um, but the first thing we're going to want to do is get an extension on here that's going to allow us to customize the map view um, f the first uh, and able to do that what you're going to need to do though is install tamper monkey um, and I'll post all these links in the description below, but Tamper Monkey um, for Chrome is, it allows you to run third-party scripts on websites. Um, this is just where you add it. Um, you hit add extension. Um, it might say, are you sure you want to do this? Well, it looks like it just worked. If you see this, it worked. It's kind of weird, but... Um, this is a good sign. Don't click this. This is probably some kind of a virus, this download button. But um, the next step is to go get the Ingress Intel Total Conversion um, script. This allows you to customize your map. Um, this is iitc.johnatkins.com. Um, also, I should mention on this website, it has instructions to get to this point. So on the left side, if you click on Desktop, um, it's telling you that for um, Chrome, you're going to want Tamper Monkey. For Firefox, you're going to want Grease Monkey. Either way, you install one of those two, um, one of those two add-ons, and then right here, you just click Download. So I click Desktop on the left. I go to Download, and it pulls up a script. It looks really intimidating, but all you need to do is click Install. And white screen nothing came up is a good sign that means it's working um, in the top right corner you can see this little um, tamper monkey icon if you click on it it's going to show you um, that that um, tamper monkey's running and then the next stop we're going to want to make is going to um, pogo plugin this is um, this is the plugin that's going to allow us to add the Pokestops and the gyms to the map. And it's also going to allow us to download other marked areas that people have submitted. So um, just come to this link um, and you want to hit install. And then you want to go to the Ingress Intel map and it should look a lot different. Yep. Um, this is kind of cool that they put this on here. It's a little Pikachu. Pikachu! <laughs> um, but it says, you don't have any Pokemon Go data. Please load data. Okay. I think I can just probably just click right there. So the first time I did this, my computer seemed like it locked up. The browser definitely locked up. It didn't really go anywhere for a long time. Um, but let's see what happens. I'm just going to hit OK. And then what it should be doing is downloading all of the Pokemon Go stuff. Um, okay, well, it says successful, so it looks like it's working. If I hit OK, then on this um, on this little layers icon, you can hover over it, and it gives you the option to turn things on and off. So fields and links, that has nothing to do with Pokemon. That has everything to do with Ingress, so obviously I want those two turned off. 
Um, everything else you want, I, I just leave it turned on. It's nice to know where the portals are because that's directly related to where the um, where the pokey stops and the gyms are. So if you get your um, your map up and it looks like there's nothing on here in terms of um, pokey stops or gyms, two things might have happened. Um, one, the um, n there might be just none of them submitted for your area. Otherwise, uh, you might have to wait because in the bottom right hand corner it kind of shows the maps refreshing. It takes a little while. It's kind of loading. 60% um, map done. At this point, if there were any submitted, I would see them. Um, I happen to know that downtown Green Bay has a bunch of them submitted, so I'll go there first. Um, when you're moving the map around, nothing's happening, so you want to stop moving around for a little bit. Make sure you're zoomed in, you know, at least close enough that you can see the different portals. And you're going to see um, in the bottom right-hand corner it says portals all. That means you're close enough to see everything that's um, on the map. And as you can see, this kind of shows us where um, pokey stops are and where pokey gyms are. The, um, the stops are the ball-looking ones, and the gyms kind of look like arena, little blue icons. But um, if we want to submit one, uh, let's go into my area because I know where some stuff is here. Um, let's go close to There's some stuff around Memorial Park here. Uh, wait for everything to load, and then I happen to know that um, this Julie's Cafe is a gym. So in this right-hand side where this blue um, section is, you just click the little gym icon, and it says mark this portal as a Poke Gym. So um, now this one's highlighted, and across the street, watering hole, that is a Poke Stop. So you click that, it marks it as a Poke Stop. Um, these are all pokey stops along here. And if you accidentally mark one and it's not, then you can just click on it again and uncheck it. You know, click that same icon again and it's going to remove your, remove your marker. Um, but these are all pokey stops. That's a pokey stop. Um, this is a stop. And not all of the dots on the map are going to be something. Um, most of the portals were translated into Pokestops and Gyms, but not all of them. Um, seems like maybe 5-10% of them aren't anything. So um, I would just make sure you know for sure before you submit anything. So we want to keep this thing as helpful as we can. Um, Lifebridge Church is a gym. Um, Village Hall is a Pokestop. Fire Station is a Pokestop. So, anyway, you get the idea. Um, once you get your area filled in pretty good, then this little Pogo Opt button at the bottom of this blue panel allows you to um, send Pogo portals. It says it sends your recorded Pokemon Go markers to the centralized list, and this is what's helpful to everyone. So, basically, you're doing this for yourself. But if everyone contributes their area, eventually we're going to have every area filled in and it's going to make this awesome. But um, just hit send. It says, are you sure you want to do this? Hit OK. And I assume that's done. There isn't really any kind of a progress bar or anything. It just goes away. So I think we're good. Um, actually, it seems like it may have locked up. So I would just wait a little while. Um, if nothing happens, then just close it and come back to it. But it looks like I can't really click on anything. I can't imagine it would take that long to send these couple of coordinates. The following page has come unresponsive. Um, okay, I'll kill it. And then I'll go back to it. The nice thing is, um, I think the data was submitted, and for sure my stuff is saved in here, so I can come back to it and look at it. Um, I'll have to play with it more to know for sure if it was actually submitted or find out maybe it works better in Firefox. Um, if that's the case, then on the um, Ingress Intel Total Conversion website, you, you can follow the directions under the desktop tab. It shows you how to do it with Firefox. Um, one other thing I should mention about this, this layers panel is kind of cool. There's different 
types of um, views. So if you're not sure which portal or which Pokestop you're looking at, you can go into a satellite view and get a little more detailed view of where this thing is, um, especially if there's a lot of them in a small area. Um, you'll be able to see where, where you want to mark stuff. Um, that's about it. The last thing I want to mention, I, I just heard, I found this on Reddit. I think it's awesome. Um, the evolution calculator, if you don't know about it, it's very helpful. Um, you basically just select um, a Pokemon and give it a power and evolve, and it gives you an estimate of what you're going to evolve to, either um, one of these three Pokemon, and it gives you the powers of those um, once they evolve. I've I've measured quite a few of them before I evolved them. They're always within like one or two percent. I, they're not always in that range exactly, but they've been really close. So, um, so far, I, it seems like this works really well. Um, I'll post that in the link too. But uh, if you have any questions about this, if you get stuck, um, just post in the comments below and um, I'll try to help you out. See ya.